Well, maybe you've lived in your house or a condo for a while, or perhaps you've just moved into some new digs, and there's one room that's just, mm, yeah, it's not yeah. working. White walls, hodgepodge of furniture, you don't know what to do with it all. Mm -hmm. Well, the city of Tampa now offers a class that can help the clueless create a room you can live with. As Ten News reporter Dana Sheffield found out, the influx of television decorating shows is part of the inspiration for this new class. When the theme music kicks in, fashion addicts don't dare turn it off. I am a big freak about that. You won't see me going out on the weekends. I'm sitting in front of the TV or I'm taping them. Like the Learning Channel's trading spaces. You're glued to the TV to see what the designers will do with their glue guns this time. I get some good ideas from them. They spend a thousand bucks to get it done for the hour show and I'm voila, a masterpiece? I'm, At times I think they get a little frustrated because it looks so easy on television. Let's go to the real world. And then they attempt it and it just, it just, it just doesn't go anywhere. For 17 years, Enzai Yellow has measured and picked out fabrics for those who need a little inspiration. Now she's brought her swatches to a program sponsored by the city of Tampa. What would normally cost you $150 to sit in on a class like this one? You'll pay just $40 for an eight-week session. Because my whole house is a designer's disaster. Angelia Talone is starting from scratch. What don't I like? <laughs> What do I like? <laughs> you learn where to spend the bulk of your money and how not to be intimidated. I would love for each of my students to just do one project that they've not been able to complete. Uh, we'll be back. Yeah, we'll, we'll be, be back. back. We'll rescue you after lunch. So there's back? not a carpenter, seamstress, or designer to I whip up something so in a hurry. Let's take all the fun out of it. By the end of class, hopefully you'll have something to be proud of. Okay. Bye. Bye. By your own design. In Hyde Park, Deanna Sheffield, Tampa Bay's 10 News. More parents are going all out decorating the nursery. And predictable character themes are giving way to a more sophisticated look. 10 News reporter Deanna Sheffield takes a look at the new trends. For twins Manu and Matisse, an empty room gives them plenty of room to get around. For mom, it's a blank slate begging for a baby design. Yeah. Nothing against many, of course. That is very boring. But mom wants different something a little bit smoothing because baby's room are usually already full of toys and uh, that's, uh, that's a lot of decoration just by that. So. They just want to, don't want to do powder blue and pinky pink. Designer Enza Aiello says instead of matchy matchy, parents are picking contrasting colors, polka dots, stripes. And it gives interest, it's geometric, it stimulates, you know, development. There's no so boring borders, instead in whimsical valences. Um, the background it's like similar to a little wooden cornice board with an interesting shape and an interesting design. Even investment artwork is decorating nursery walls. These are darker colors, a little bit sophisticated. The you kind of thing you won't throw away. It's something that if you purchase, grandma and grandpa purchase, or godparents or friends, it's something that maybe when they move into a home they'll still appreciate it they can sell it they can pass it on to their child and some are going for a little unpredictable color on the floor still baby friendly though it's wool so it will clean up all that baby spit it'll clean right off of it. it comes down to it designer and mom agree the best design is one baby <laughs> and parents will enjoy in tampa deanna sheffield tampa bay's 10 news and the designer also has these inexpensive, sophisticated suggestions. Try adding non-traditional storage. For example, instead of plastic bins, use huge infant baskets to store stuffed animals. Make your own artwork. Collect baby pictures from parents and grandparents to make a unique collage. And add a comfy adult chair. But don't go cheap. You'll want to keep it once the baby grows up and moves out. And that will happen eventually.